Hello everyone, today we take a look at new mods for FS22. All the mods here today are for PC only, they're public, and the download links can be found down below. We have a pretty good variety here today of truck mods and ATVs, so I'm thinking, why don't we get started off here with a small Honda Quad. This is a Honda Fortrek, it's $6,000, it's color changeable, and there you do have the option for mud tires here, but upon close look, you guys can see this thing is pretty sweet here. I'm a huge fan of these quads, definitely good for running around uh, the farm or even having a little bit of off-road fun. Now this seems to be a rear wheel drive quad here, just uh, the back wheels do get power here, which is no problem. And this mod here is by the Rental Man, but quite a few of the mods we'll be taking a look at here are by him as well. But I will say guys, pretty neat quad, definitely kind of an older, kind of cheaper model if you would say, which is nice to have around the farm here. Now I also kind of like that the back tires are wider than the front, I think that gives it a pretty good look. The next quad guys is a Honda Rancher. This thing looks like it's pretty new condition, fairly recent model. We'll take a quick look at it here in the store here. Now Honda guys is pretty popular for off-road toys and you can see guys starting price at 12,600. It's a 2021 model. So I guess, I guessed right. There are several options here for with the design options uh, being the wheels, which is pretty cool. We have two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and you do have the upgraded engine here, about 20 horsepower. A full walk around on this guys looks pretty sweet here. I kind of like those extra back racks here and we do have an area for a hitch here. Definitely just have to buy a hitch to help move some trailers around or hey, even buy a small ATV trailer. But guys, this thing looks so cool here. I kind of like that one uh, light there on kind of the uh, steering if you would so called here. But wow, this is a pretty sweet one here. I definitely want to feature more and more mods here and the mods just keep getting better and better. Up next, guys, we're going to be taking a look here at a 2020 Ram 3500. This is a Cummins and the Hemi. This is a regular cab long bed. This truck, guys, was actually a conversion from FS19 here. Everything works on it. The only difference that I've noticed, guys, is that there are no available strobe lights like the previous versions. But hey, why don't we take a quick look here at it? There are several options, several different uh, features as we'll go through. It's a fog lights, fender flares. You could do the tow mirrors up and down. You do also have a variety of steps. You could do a few different dealer decals on a Case IH Cat, uh, a few different ones, including John Deere, which is a pretty neat option here. You could have the tailgate, you could have a few different attachers, and it is color changeable. The configuration we're doing a walk around, guys, is just a standard work truck here. This is what I use for most of my videos here. I really do like it. Now, I do believe these are actually upgraded wheels from what they usually would be stock. But, hey, that's A-OK -okay with me. So, we'll do a quick light check here. Really do like it working tailgates. We do have the option for a gooseneck here. And that is also good here. Now, this one does not have the fog lights. No problem there. We do have a full interior here. You guys can see working gauges, steering wheel. I mean, this thing guys look at how cool this is and i believe that that is actually a third seat here usually it's kind of a big bench seat in these regular cab trucks here but definitely a pretty neat work truck up next guys we have a 2019 chevy 1500 silverado this is mainly a trail boss but there are several different options if you want to do more of a standard silverado build here so in the store it's located under the cars category it has a starting price of $45,000 here. We'll take a quick look at the trims. You have LT, you have RST, you have Trail Boss here. So three different trims. I really do like that here. Now, a few different bed options here. You have the toolbox as well. And I, I kind of like that toolbox there. You have a back rack if you would like that. A few different ones uh, to help protect that back window here. And last up, you guys can see. So let's take a quick look here. at it. You have Trail Boss wheels. And then you have some pretty neat aftermarket at fuel wheels and some different brands here really really do like that here and the truck is color changeable a lot of new colors on it which is pretty cool here and with i believe it is the rst the entire truck guys is color match which looks awesome 
The Chevy Silverado body lines look pretty neat here. I really do like it here, especially in this kind of darker blue. It, it looks pretty sweet here. Now, a few things, guys. There were a few of these back in FS19. I really do like this truck here with all the customizables. Now, one thing, it definitely needs an interior here. I don't think it will be too tricky uh, to put one in since we do have trucks already with one here. So, if you guys see me using this in some videos, I will definitely uh, add an interior here too. But overall, it's a nice truck with a few kind of upgrade mods as well to make it your own taste and overall just add to the truck. Here we have a 2014 Can-Am Commander here released by the Rental Man Buck. I will say guys this is pretty sweet here. It is color changeable, a few different options in the store I will say. This is a pretty unique model here. It seems more like a UTV to me with kind of how there is a bed here in the back. But we'll do a quick walk around. You guys can actually see when you press X the back unfolds here which is pretty cool. And then you can actually unfold the tailgate here. Let's see if we do that really quickly. You just have to find the proper control controls to do it and let's see let's see so the tailgate unfolds there and there we have it so that is pretty awesome i kind of like that a lot and this can-am looks pretty cool here it kind of feels like a sporty utv and that, that's probably what i'm just gonna go with here at it but wow look at all the detail you guys can see in this thing this and overall it's a pretty neat utv here we have a 1993 Dodge D250. This, uh, once again, released by the Rental Man Buck, has so many options. Why don't we hop in the store here? I really do like the old classic farm truck feel. This thing has so many different cool things here on it. So let's go with the paint. You do have decals on it here. You have a few different customized options for the cab, as well as you keep on going through a variety of different steps. Old style of uh, full steps there. You have mud flaps here. Definitely good for those farm roads as we keep on going down you could do so many different things here to front options uh, oh wow that does look pretty sweet here here we'll keep on going plates bumpers we'll uh, select a few different bumpers actually that looks pretty neat here let's scroll on up remove the grill protection Oh yeah guys, that is definitely the way to go here as we keep on going down. You do have several different wheel options. Oh wow, a lift kit on that one. That looks pretty cool here. Single rear wheel dually. Uh, just uh, so many different things and it's color changeable. As we do a full walk around, you guys can see this is awesome here. I really, really do like the two-tone paint. It definitely goes with kind of the old-fashioned farm truck style. Definitely, definitely some pretty good engine sounds on it. And you guys can see top speed is 74 miles per hour here. So we have a working tailgate here and there is something that seems to be mouse controlled here as well. I'm not sure exactly. Might be the hitch on the back uh, that I just did not purchase yet here. But wow, you guys can see. Look at that. Uh, definitely a really, really neat farm truck here. On the first person view, it is also detailed here. Looks to be a standard old manual truck. Well guys, here it is. The Ford F-Series has come to FS22. Once again, this is by the Rental Man Buck, but this time guys, it is an extended cab, not a crew cab. And this is the 8-foot bed here, so we'll take a look at it in the store. We have so many options here from F-250 all the way up to F-550 here dually. I mean, this thing guys is fully loaded with options here. So, so many different trim levels. You can see F-250, 4x4. And there's the two options there. You do have the different wheels here for it. And we'll actually go down to, let's see, let's see. We'll go down to F-250. Show you guys all the different wheels on it. As we keep on going down, you have XL, XL Premium, XLT, and then you can go up to Lariat, which is pretty cool here. A few different bumper add-ons here. We have several different steps here for powered steps. You have a little bit of a kind of old-fashioned style uh, as well. And definitely, uh, I kind of like the, the old ones there. Definitely kind of gives it that older uh, farm truck field. Mud flaps, plow mount, you have lights. You could go halogens, LEDs here, which is definitely a pretty neat uh, add-on here. Grill guards, so many options. And it is color changeable with the factory uh, color options here. Let's see, ruby red. There we have it. And this could also be a two-tone if you would like that. We'll actually go with a two-tone there. It looks pretty neat. 
Now this truck guys has several different beds here you guys can see there's a DRW single rear wheel hot shot beds here as we keep on going you have the your stock bed you have a toolbox bed uh, you have a, a service bed so many options here and then you do also have a fifth wheel that's removable. A full 360 on the truck because it's well deserved here. Probably one of the best mods here in Farming Sim. Uh, the rental man does a great job here on it. But why don't we hop here on the inside. You guys can see once again working tailgate here. Power folding tow mirrors which is really, really sweet here. Let's see, I believe that you could also fold them in. We'll take a quick look here at it. Now I do believe there are some other options here for it as well. But this is just a standard. I'm not sure exactly what model this is. This is just kind of a base model XLT on the inside. Take a look at that. Almost like you're sitting in a real life Ford pickup truck. Just how cool this is. And this thing, guys, is awesome here. I can't wait uh, to really put it to work here. And definitely we'll be featuring it in a lot of videos to come. Last up for trucks, guys, we have an old 1972 Ford F100. A few different options here in the store. This thing is just an old classic farm truck, and I really do like the kind of old classic two-tone paint with a half cab and everything like that here. And on the inside, just take a look at how cool this is. Definitely pretty sweet here. Now, the very last mod, guys, we're taking a look at here is actually, it's going to be these truck bed ramps here. So now we have ramps. You could load quads or really anything into the back of the truck, even a lawnmower if it's uh, small enough to fit in the truck bed here so we'll get both these set up And just like that, guys, we got the ramps here. I will say that is just so, so cool how that is here. You can walk right in. You could drive a quad in, and that is pretty awesome here. But, guys, that's pretty much it for all the new mods for FS22. I'm trying to feature mainly the big, big mods that come out every week, week and a half here. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.